Welcome to Upper Dublin High School Football 24-7. The Cardinals came into the game as underdogs against the three-seed Westchester Rustin. The Golden Knights had won their first game 47-13 and boasted a 2,000-yard running back in Terry Loper. However, Upper Dublin was not intimidated. In their first round game against Council Rock North, they faced top quarterback recruit Brandon McIlwain, and even though the Cardinals were the higher seed, many writers picked McIlwain and the Indians to beat Upper Dublin. The Cardinals had something else in mind. They took control of the game right away and built up a 28-0 halftime lead. They would cruise to a 48-14 win and showed they belonged with the top teams in the area, but this was a much bigger challenge. Prior to this season, Cardinals head coach Brett Stover last led his team to a conference title in 2010, which was a share with Cheltenham. Upper Dublin had not won their conference outright since John Pavlik was head coach in 1996. Before returning to the locker room, captains Matt Thompson, John Lee, Tim Rasmussen, and Henry Weinberg represented the Cardinals at the coin toss. Once the coin toss was complete, it was back to the locker room for pregame reminders and speeches. Well, one more week. Do what we do best. And that's out there between the lines. Not many people gave you much chance of beating that Council Rock North team. All we heard about was Mac winning this, Mac winning that. All right, well, guess what? Tonight, it's, they're not giving you much chance because it's low for this, low for that. This is a team. 48 minutes. You've done it for 11 weeks. I'm asking you to do it for 12. Everybody up. Let's go. Let's go. On the first play from scrimmage, the handoff went to Terry Loper. Play goes to Loper, and Loper has a huge hole. Loper across the 50, and he's going to go all the way, and it is not a good start for the Cardinals. After the touchdown, the Cardinals quickly found themselves down 7-0, but the good news is they were able to get the ball for the first time. After starting from their own 19-yard line, the Cardinals took it all the way down to the Ruskin 6. I win to speak up, which could benefit the passing game. They're going to hand off this time. He's going to play action now. Sober, wide open is John Bennett, and the Cardinals respond to the touchdown of their own. It is now 7-6. Goldie Andrews' extra point was good, and the game was tied at 7. After tying the game, the Cardinals' defense once again took the field, but Rustin stormed all the way back into UD territory with the chance to take the lead again. The Golden Knights made a gutsy call to go for it on fourth down, still early in the game, hoping for just a first down. Cardinals could use a huge stop here. Loper in motion. They fake the handoff. Wallace is going to throw deep. He's got a man open, and he makes a one-handed catch for a touchdown. What a catch! The clutch play gave Rustin the lead once again, this time 14-7. Fourth down as we open up quarter number two. Hand off to John Lee, and John Lee gets the first down, and a lot more! John Lee into the end zone, and the Cardinals respond with a touchdown, 14-13 with the extra point still to come. The Cardinals copied the Golden Knights and went for it on fourth down near the end zone. John Lee found daylight to tie the game at 14. The Golden Knights got the ball back and drove down the field where quarterback Evan Wylock sneaked it in to give Rustin a 21-14 lead. <laughs> quarterback sneak and Wylock is in for the touchdown as the Cardinals will punt it away now. Fourth and four at their own 26. I think we'll see Stacey Gardner take it to the house again. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. If we see that. <laughs> High snap and oh, no. his head. He just needs to kick it out. And he's it's gonna be a safety, I think. It's gonna no. be a safety. No. Wow. The Golden Knights now led 23 to 14 after the safety, but the Cardinal defense forced another turnover, and this time the offense drove down for a crucial touchdown to make it 23-21 heading into halftime. A big play on the drive was a screen pass to John Barrett, which set the cards up inside the 10, and they would convert a few plays later. 14, Rustin with the lead with the Cardinals inside the one yard line. 12 seconds to go. They will hand it off to Khalif Lee. Khalif Lee gets met at the line. Second effort though, he gets in for the throw. What a play from Khalif Lee. And with seven seconds left in the half, the Cardinals cut the lead to two points. The Cardinals trailed 23-21 at the half, but they knew they would receive the ball to start the third quarter and headed into the locker room on a positive note. Michael Sowers in motion. Following in number 36, Harrison Cohen. Stover fires. It's going to lead to Matt Thompson. Thompson's going to get a first down and a lot more. Thompson's still on his feet. He's to the 15. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. Touchdown, Cardinals! The senior wideout, Matt Thompson, gave the Cardinals a 28-23 lead, but he wasn't done quite yet. Stover back to pass. He fires. The pass is caught by Matt Thompson. Touchdown, Grover Dublin! Matt Thompson with his second touchdown of the game, his second touchdown of the quarter, and up for Dublin has now put up 30 points on Westchester Rustin here in Westchester.
Now leading 35-23 to in the fourth quarter, the Cardinal offense went to work at killing the clock, and thanks to John Lee and Matt Thompson, they added to their lead. Excuse me, fourth and nine for the Cardinals. They get this fourth down, it might put the game away. Stover rolling to his right, going deep, he's got Thompson, and they get three touchdowns from Matt Thompson. It's been all Cardinals in the second half, and they now lead 40-23. to Wylock, pressure coming, gets rid of it, going deep into double coverage, and then it's intercepted! And he will just take a knee. Guess who that is, John? Oh my goodness. Matt Thompson completing the game of his life with a game ceiling interception, and the Cardinals are going to the semifinals. The clock ticked down and the Cardinals soaked in the moment. They had proven the doubters wrong and they had proven that they can play with anyone. As the Bird Gang stormed the field, they made a memory that will last a lifetime.